This is all about safety. Have a mental checklist constantly running of how to keep people safe. If you see someone dangerously close to stepping on a weight, go move it and let them know you did that. Scan the room to make sure their steps and risers are locked in. And walk the room offering corrections. That's number one. The safest moves become unsafe when a member gets too tired to perform them correctly or when their body awareness is off, when their weights are too heavy, and when they can't see or feel that they're executing incorrectly. Backs, knees, shoulders, these are the most common places for injury to occur. So safety with equipment, movements, execution, and intensity. With equipment, it's pretty simple. You wanna make sure that they have their space and their neighbors have their space and that the equipment is not coming too close to their move. In movements, what are they doing? Are they doing it properly? Are they in good form? How is their tempo? These are all things you should be able to scan from where you are in the room. Execution, are they executing the move the way you want them to? Or are they off in their own little world performing it the way they want to? Always bring them back. You can say, eyes on me. You can keep repeating the way you know it needs to be done. If you need to, go stand beside them and help them, coach them to be doing it the correct way. Intensity, this is another one. If you're going hard, they're gonna to try to keep up with you, but maybe they're not as fit as you. So just keep intensity in mind. Try to bring them up, but also know limitations and encourage people to take rest or to modify as needed. If you go back to the manual and read everything we provided about safety, I can pretty much assure you that everybody who comes to your class will leave feeling amazing and safe.